Hi, I'm futurist Thomas Fry. Today, I'd like to tell you the story about the traitorous eight, the eight people who were the behind the scenes founders of Silicon Valley. The story of Silicon Valley starts with the invention of the transistor in 1947 at Bell Labs. Created by William Shockley, John Bardeen, and Walter Bertain, this tiny semiconductor revolutionized electronics. It was smaller, faster, and more reliable than vacuum tubes. So the transistor marked the dawn of the information age and paved the way for modern computing. In 1956, William Shockley returned to Palo Alto, California to start Shockley Semiconductor Laboratory. His goal was to advance semiconductor technology, but Shockley's was a terrible business manager. Even though he somehow managed to attract brilliant thinkers like Gordon Moore, Robert Noyce, and Gene Herney, his controlling and erratic behavior stifled innovation. When he insisted on pursuing flawed semiconductor designs, tensions boiled over. By 1957, eight of Shockley's top researchers had enough. Gordon Moore, Robert Noyce, Julius Blank, Victor Greenwich, Gene Herney, Jay Last, Eugene Kleiner, and Sheldon Roberts secretly banded together to leave the lab and form their own company. They became known as the Traitorous Eight as they rebelled against Shockley and set out to create a culture where innovation could thrive. With funding from Sherman Fairchild, they founded Fairchild Semiconductor in Mountain View, California. Fairchild focused on silicon transistors, a scalable improvement over Shockley's germanium-based designs. Fairchild's success happened quickly. By the 1960s, it was producing integrated circuits, which involved collections of transistors and other components on a single silicon chip. This innovation would revolutionize computing, enabling the miniaturization of electronics and the development of everything from mainframe computers to consumer gadgets. Fairchild quickly became the centerpiece of a booming tech ecosystem. Fairchild's impact extended far beyond its products. It fostered a culture of entrepreneurial risk-taking. Many of its leaders, including Robert Noyce and Gordon Moore, left to start companies like Intel, AMD, and National Semiconductor. These spin-offs, known as the Fairchildren, transformed the Santa Clara Valley into a global tech hub, now known as Silicon Valley. Also, Eugene Kleiner, who co-founded Kleiner Perkins in 1972, laid the foundation for the modern venture capital industry, providing early funding and mentorship to startups like Amazon, Google, Netscape, Intuit, Square, and Spotify, shaping Silicon Valley's entrepreneurial ecosystem. The Traitorous Eight not only launched a revolutionary company, but also redefined innovation. They showed that small, bold teams could outpace corporate giants, establishing a legacy of risk-taking and disruption. Intel, co-founded by Moore and Noyce, became a microprocessor powerhouse, driving the personal computer revolution of the 1980s. Moore's law, which was formulated by Gordon Moore, predicted exponential growth in computing power, and Moore's law became one of the driving forces behind Silicon Valley's relentless progress. The transistor's invention at Bell Labs was the spark, but it was the traitorous eight's rebellion that lit the fire for creating the world's most groundbreaking ecosystem we all know today as Silicon Valley. Thank you for listening. This has been a future speaker production.